All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day 32 of On Shape. What we're going to do specifically is I'm going to make some pins to put my trammel system together rather than using some threaded bolts here just because um, this is my first real big full-scale project for my students where they're building this from bottom up. Uh, I want them to be able to recreate these parts here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is not create the bolts. I'm just going to create the pins for each part. And I'm going to create them with the parts that they're in. So we got my slide right here. And so what I'm going to do is just have some pins that fit right here. Go to my corner blocks and then have some pins that are going to fit in here as well. These pins are a little bit different. So we're going to do the slides first because they're a little bit easier. So I'm going to click on sketch. We're going to click on this top plane of my uh, sliders. And I'm going to use something we've never used before. And that's project. And what would project does, it allows us to take and reference geometry somewhere else. And so what I've got here actually now is I've sketched and I've projected the circle and accidentally some extra pieces too. Let's click, uh, delete those while we're out there. Okay, I've projected the two circles for my sliders. I got the one circle here, one right here. And it's already dimensioned, everything is good, everything fits. We're actually gonna say click check mark there and done. So sketch five right here. We can now oh, let me zoom out just a little bit, deselect. There we go. We're gonna hit extrude, and we're gonna extrude these two pins right here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the pins be symmetric to a depth of half inch. Reason being is that I'm going to constrain this to the slider arm and uh, I only need the pins to stick out a little bit. They don't have to go all the way through. They're welcome to. Um, and we're gonna create those as new parts. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to create some of our other pins as well. Uh, we're gonna do something pretty similar except for on, uh, instead of doing this multiple times, uh, we're actually just going to do this once and then use that that piece that part multiple times So what I'm going to do here is these first two on the bottom left the uh, top left and bottom right here are through pins um, They're not the bolts So we're gonna click on sketch we'll click on this top plane right here if you normal too We're gonna use project again. So we're gonna project this circle and this circle uh, and then we're gonna do Actually, let's do all four while we're at it. That way we just call them done. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to extrude this circle and this circle. They are going to be new pins, so we're going to make sure they're new pieces. And the depth on those are going to be 1.15 inches. I just went ahead and measured those already. Make sure we click new. And where did I find that? In my assembly so far, I found that the top of this part right here to the bottom of there was 1.15 inches apart. So if you've been following along with me, those are the dimensions you need. Um, but those are the pins we're gonna use and we're gonna call those done. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is I'll make one, uh, our pins here, but it has a hex bolt on the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on sketch. Oh, actually, I already sketched there. We're gonna click on extrude and we're in sketch five. We're not gonna extrude all the sketches, this is sketch five. We're just gonna do these two right here. We're gonna flip them the other direction and those go to a depth of 1.15 as well. Okay, but we're gonna add a piece onto these as well. So I guess I could have done all four pins the same. Yep, that would have been quicker, but we're here now. So I'm gonna click on sketch. And on the end of these two pieces right here, we're gonna add a hexagonal piece. Because we have two hex bolts. What I don't know is I don't know the dimension of those. So I'm gonna go flip over my trammel base and I'm gonna click on the dimension of what is the distance between these two, and that's 0.422. 
So when I go back to my pieces right here, the dimension between these two, we're just going to make 0.4. So 0 0.4. Okay, hit the green check mark. And we are done, almost. The only thing we need to do now is extrude these out. Just a little bit, not that much. That's a big bolt head. These are gonna be adds, because we're adding to those bolt stems. The merge scope, we're going to add it to this part and this part. And then the depth of those are going to be a quarter inch because that's how thick our trammel bases are. Okay. I believe we are good to go. So we have our two pins for our slides and we have our four pins for one. We're just going to reuse that again for the other. Okay, so I'm gonna call this done on this video for now because this is we're just making the pins and then we're gonna do another follow-up video on how to throw all of this together. Um, actually, you know what? Let's make another slide arm rather quickly. So what we need so far is this slide arm comes out of a kit, but we actually don't need these pieces too much. What I can tell you is that the slide for our trammel, it fits the first and fourth holes. So if we measure the distance between those to be two inches, we can then use that on our trammel. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to actually make another slide right here. This will make us slide really easy. Okay. So to help make this a really easy, all I'm going to do is make a rectangle Let's try that again. One more time. There we go. Okay. We throw in dimension here. Let's make this five inches. We throw a dimension here. Let's make this a half inch. And we throw in a circle here. And we throw in a circle here. The only thing that really needs to happen is that these need to be in line with each other. Uh, so actually, let's take that circle out. Let's do a circle straight over. The dimensions of both of these circles are going to be 0.165 inches. So we're going to click on dimension. Okay. And then we're done. We hit the check mark. And we extrude this up. Quarter inch. This very simple trammel arm that we've made versus this one, both of them are going to do the same thing. Um, and so as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to have my students make this crank arm actually in depth. What we are going to do is they're going to pull this in and they're going to use it in their actual own assemblies. I'm going to be providing this piece for them. So that's why I'm not going to spend too much on the slide arm. What I am going to do now is in this video, and we're going to say we have the pins and we created another slide arm. In the follow-up video here, we're going to make the whole assembly. We're going to bring it together with our constraints. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Until then, I will see you guys on the next video.